We are bikepacking 2,500 miles across Europe from London to Istanbul, Turkey. In this video, we enter the sixth country of our journey, Switzerland, and experience the worst storm of our lives. After the devastating effects of the storm and severe weather in the forecast, we have to rethink our entire plan moving forward. Guten Morgen, everyone. It is day 21. We forced ourselves to get up early because it's supposed to be really hot today in the mid 90s. So we thought we got to get these miles done quickly. We are heading into Switzerland today, which will be the sixth country of this trip. We've had so many people tell us that we need to go swimming in the Bodensee. So we're going to do that. <laughs> we're starting the morning with a big hill once again. Whew, 800 feet straight up. I think this hill might even be steeper than the one we climbed yesterday. I'm definitely not strong enough to bike it with this amount of weight when it's this steep. The first part of the day we went up a really steep hill. The first five miles took us an hour, over an hour to do. And then the last seven took us about 30 minutes. We were going so, so, so fast down that hill. There were times I was looking at my watch, 30 miles an hour, and now it's time for the bakery. This has definitely become a daily habit. We come across a bakery, we've got to get something. Okay, so we've only had one of these one other time in Berlin. It's like a pretzel slash croissant, and it is amazing. I'm very excited for this. That's it's it. so good. Alex got an apple turnover, and we got some stuff to go. A pretzel and another seed bread to go. Danke schön. Ciao. 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 made it to Switzerland, although we can't find a sign. <laughs> On this trip, it's our sixth country yeah. we've gone through. That's kind of creepy. I like it. How many are up there? We're starting to be able to see the Alps just kind of in the far distance, some high peaks. We haven't seen those on this trip yet so far. After a quick 52 miles, we made our way to our waterfront campsite, and after setting up the tent, we immediately jumped into Lake Constance to cool off. So ready to get in this water. It is just ridiculously hot today. It's actually quite warm. <laughs> I'll jump in with you. Okay. One, two, three. That feels nice to miss that. This is like an apocalyptic storm. I've never seen lightning strike so much without stopping. Okay, we hear the rain over there, so we know it's gonna hit us. 
it's just like not quite at our spot yet. It's so weird. Alex is trying to frantically pack up. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. I'm also kind of memorized by it though. Look how pretty it is. I need the light. You can hear the rain, can't you? Yep. Like it's gonna you hit us like no a water. huge wave. Okay, we gotta get in. We gotta get inside. You have this here. You have this here. I, I need you need to give me the light. I am giving you light. This is literally crazy. Okay. Now, now. Yeah. Okay. Under the roof. I didn't close. I didn't. Did you leave it open? Okay. Hey guys, I'm waiting for Alex. He ran back to close the tent. They just asked everybody to go the roof because of this crazy storm. You closed the tent? Was it open? Yeah. Bad time to be camping. I might have to sleep in here tonight. This is our tent. It, it got destroyed. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta get this up though, or something. No, it's it's broken, honey. Look, it snapped. <gasps> it snapped. Oh my goodness. Look, the tent pole snapped. Um, and then now there's a hole here. I really hate this tent. <laughs> um, I don't know what's going on in there. I think stuff is wet. Brief recap. Unexpectedly, completely unexpectedly, there was a huge, huge storm that hit us. And it was massive. Our tent broke. A lady was really nice. She's like gonna let us sleep in her camper in the the other bunk bed, which is really nice, but we gotta get this crap together and put our stuff away and let it dry. We were staying in a stranger's camper who invited us to stay last night, which was really sweet. It was a rough night, though. Yeah. There was tons of story all night. Good morning, everybody. We are in Suzanne's trailer this morning. <laughs> um, she was kind enough to let us stay here last night when our tent broke, and that was so sweet. What motivated you, I guess, to just like open your place to two strangers? <laughs> I, I love to share what I have and in this moment it was uh, fine to, to share dry, a dry place. <laughs> yeah, yes, that was very I kind. I love to do this. <laughs> well, we appreciate yeah. it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. <laughs> awesome. Good nice. trip. Thank you. I couldn't convey this well at the moment and I think it's because words cannot truly express just how touched we were by this random act of so much kindness from a complete stranger. Honestly, I tear up even thinking about it. It's so beautiful the amount of kindness from strangers we received on this journey. I want to highlight this because the news makes it seem like strangers are dangerous, but acts of kindness are never featured. I think if they were more, it would restore people's faith in humanity and make the world a better place. We're finally hitting the road. It's like 11. We had to dry some stuff this morning. Our mission today is to find us a tent. So we are leaving Switzerland, I guess. It's crazy, but we kind of need to if poor weather's coming. It's an expensive place to be stuck in poor weather. 
I would definitely say that that is the biggest challenge of this trip that we've had so far. And it makes me wonder, we've got about seven more weeks of this. What other challenges lie ahead? We need to go with a more sturdy tent next time. storm we definitely and because we aren't staying in switzerland very long we definitely not gonna be able to check off all the lists but we at least stopped at this bakery and chocolatiers so we could check off a couple things on my switzerland food list the first one being zolf bread it looks kind of like challah bread but smaller and it's supposed to be very popular bread here in switzerland and this looks like totally my jam even though you know I'm not supposed to really be eating this, but um, let's get this again. Give it to me then. Yeah, it's not happening. <laughs> Today's gonna be a gluten day. All right, let's go. Mmm. 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 This is my type of bread. It tastes very similar to challah and like Hawaiian bread. You guys have had that. Slightly sweet, and you can tell there's egg in it. Oh, so good. Very similar to challah bread. Mm. Okay, this other thing that we got, I think it's sort of like a quiche. I didn't fully understand the description, but it looks like that. I think it has like egg and cheese. Whoa. That is really good. Really? Mm-hmm. Like 10 out of 10. Very savory. I'd give it at least a nine. Wow. It tastes like a, like a quiche, but I think the cheese is a little bit stronger. It's really good. And because we're in Switzerland, we obviously couldn't leave without trying the chocolate. This one? I believe is one of the praline things, so I'll try this. It's really good. You can tell the quality of the chocolate is, is very good. I think the rest of my foods to try list is gonna have to wait for a future trip, which we're definitely gonna go back to Switzerland and do it properly someday. This is a place we definitely are interested in exploring. But yep, yeah, now we're gonna go ahead to Austria. So one thing I don't think we've mentioned is we're seeing so much of these countries, right? We're seeing everything. We're seeing the farmlands, we're seeing the cities. We pass by so many dump areas, sewage areas like I just passed by right now. We're seeing all of the aspects of human civilization on these riots. We're just about to enter country number seven of the trip. As soon as we cross this bridge, We made it to Austria, country number seven of our trip. Hello, donkeys. Aww. Go, friends. Go. After lunch, we went to a gear shop nearby in Switzerland to look for a tent. And now we're in Switzerland again. So I went and checked out this outdoor sports store here. There's really not many places around here that have tents. They don't have anything here. They could order it, but it would take a few days to get it in stock. And the tent that I was looking at is like 700 Swiss francs, which is like almost $800. So. Considering the high price of the tent, we decided to move on. Well guys, we're back in Austria. That was a short trip to Switzerland. <laughs> so we are gonna go to the hotel, take a breather, and then in the morning head out and just check every sporting goods store we can find along the way, which seems kind of sparse for the next few days. So hopefully this isn't stupid and will be really expensive because we'll be staying in a lot of hotels, but we're gonna give it a go. The views here 
right on the border of Austria and Switzerland are just amazing. We're heading kind of directly south right now, so you see this, the Alps right in front of us. Severe weather warning, gonna be at least a three day brainstorm happening. That's not a good thing to have when you're on a bike. <laughs> not only for the mental aspect, but the safety aspect too of riding a bike with cars in a rainy area or on a muddy trail. Yeah, I don't know what to do guys. We either need to somehow bypass it or we have to hold up in a hotel for four days. After extensive planning and trying to figure out what to do, we succumbed to the realization that we just needed to wait out the storm for a few days. We're not just like worried about a little bit of rain. This is like serious rain and flooding that we're worried about. We just decided we're going to stay put. Two more nights. Yeah, so we're going to have at least three full rest days back to back. It's most likely going to be four because Monday looks terrible. I feel like I'm going to go insane with these rest days. Yeah, we're going to have to really occupy ourselves. We have about 30 minutes to get out of this hotel room, so we're going to get packed up and go to the hotel right across the street. And we just got to hotel number two, right across the street from our last one. Really far bike ride today, guys. All right, guys, look at all this rain coming down. Not supposed to stop until sometime on Tuesday or Wednesday. Gathering raindrops is fun. Picking them down one by one. Winter is here and our cloud tree appears full of drops. All right, guys, it is a couple days later. We're staying just one more night here in this hotel and the weather's gonna clear up hopefully good enough for tomorrow. We're gonna go run some errands today. It is a Monday, so now things have opened up. Everything was closed yesterday. So we have a few things we gotta do. We're gonna go look for a tent. Hopefully we can get one. We're gonna head out. We're just flying without all this weight on. I think we've both been going a little bit crazy being stuck in a hotel room, waiting for this weather to improve. It's actually kind of nice, despite the rain, just getting it back on the bike and getting out here, getting a little physical activity in. Looks like the uh, tire pressure gauge is now dead. The display is not working at all. I think it flooded in my bag. All right, we stopped by a mall and we were able to get a few of the things that we needed. Now, it's time to shop for a tent. I really hope we can get one because these hotels are getting really expensive. Really, really expensive. And the area we're going to, they're even more expensive. No luck on the tent. And I think we're leaving tomorrow. We're gonna try and stop at a few stores along the way tomorrow and see if we can find something. So cold. So there's something wrong with my tire. The thing will not stay locked down. I noticed it leaking earlier, locked it down, rode for just a little bit more, and now it's open again. We're huddling under a little tree, trying to get this pumped. But we're gonna have to fix this before we ride out tomorrow. So it just leaked again, so there's something wrong with my valve. <laughs> I'm so glad we didn't leave today. I, I can't believe we were even considering it. Now I'm wondering whether we're even gonna leave tomorrow because it still looks like we're supposed to have heavy rain, so. Just those eight miles has convinced us we don't wanna be in it. <laughs> All these socks are disgusting. Good morning, everybody. It is day 26 of our trip, but the past four nights we have been stuck in this little town, Lustenau, Austria, just waiting for the weather to improve. This morning I checked some news reports. 
there was some flooding. It doesn't look like it actually got too bad, but I think the waters are starting to recede now as the rain is lessening, but it's supposed to fully clear up tomorrow. Hopefully things improve by the time we finish breakfast. You gotta love soggy shoes. I've decided to opt for Tevas today because my other shoes are soaked and I want them more soaked. This might be a poor decision. Who knows? You ready for this? Ready or not, here we go. This might be really dumb, guys. We might be very stupid and regret this in about 10 minutes. Okay, guys, we've officially left. It's sprinkling, it's not too bad right now. If it stays like this, it'll be okay. I think we're only gonna try to do 30 miles. We only have half a day left now. <laughs> Anyways, hopefully stop at a few gear shops to try to find a tent along the way. It does feel really good to be going and moving after five days of no miles. We were going a little crazy there for sitting on a collar. It just feels good to be actually riding in the right direction. Here's hoping I still feel this way in about half an hour. Look at this tree right here. It's completely submerged. <laughs> I don't think the water is supposed to be up this high. I think there might be a little bit of a flood here. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful scenery up ahead. One of the benefits of taking that time off is I don't have any pain now in my body. Every day I've had a lot of pain, muscle soreness, saddle soreness. Feeling good, no pain. I think my body had time to recover. I want you to go through first. <laughs> Alex is trying to get me to go through first, so he's like, oh, I'll film you. No, I just wanted to film, that's uh -huh. it. I'm gonna film you going Okay. <laughs> Look at this. It's a really nice scene. So pretty here, guys. The third store was a complete buzz. They didn't have a single tent there, but actually there is a fourth one in Blue Dens where we actually have a warm shower host tonight. So we're gonna go ahead there right now. You don't see that every day. All right, we're just pulling up to the last and final place we can check for a tent to Lindsbrook. I'm feeling optimistic, but I guess we'll see what happens. Unfortunately, this last door was a bust, so I think it's gonna have to be a hotel tomorrow. But tonight, we are staying at a warm shower host, which I'm really excited about. So, I, I would go we spent the night with our amazing warm showers host who recommended a route for us to take through the Alps, which you'll see in the next episode. I'm never freaking going on a busy road again. I hate this. Feeling it here is 80K. It's pitch black inside of here. No shoulder. 